nice to have you here in the studio. It's good to be here today. I'm so happy you joined me. You know how much I hate to paint alone. And it's so good to see you here at the studios. I'm going to do something a little different today, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I've been uh, painting a little bit with these uh, water-soluble uh, oils, and, and I'm beginning to like them. I really am. And I'm using the um, Berlin, the Lucas Berlin series, and uh, I'm really, really enjoying the, the pigment. It's very, very bright and, and very strong, and I, I love the colors. I love the way they work together. There's a few tricks that we'll show you today, and, and um, maybe it'll help you with your, uh, with your uh, painting. And, uh, or maybe you haven't painted with water-soluble oils. They're very, very handy to have. I'm going to also use... Uh, the um, the brushes, uh, the uh, bristle brushes by uh, Pro Stroke, they're very good. I like the Pro Stroke. I use them also in oil and uh, acrylic, and they're very good. This this large one is a a, a creative mark, and I I like them. I'll just fill in areas with them, but I want. I want to be sure that uh, I, uh, I relieve you of some, some kind of consternations that maybe some of you people have about working with uh, the oil. I, I kind of like them. I didn't at first, but I do now. So I'm, I'm uh, convinced that they'll, they'll uh, find a spot for us. They also have, uh, we also have the mediums that can be used, the, uh, the uh, stand oil the uh, retarder and the uh, linseed oil. So uh, they're all used for water-soluble oil, and they act just the same, only you don't get the fumes, you don't get the odor, and they're easy cleanup. Wash, wash your brushes in your, in your filbert. You can use short hair brushes if you want, or soft hair brushes, whatever it is you want to use. But today I'm going to do something very quick for you, very easy, so that you can see how these, how these work. And again, uh, I don't certainly expect you to, to do these things, but I wanted to show you just how, how these things uh, uh, can, can work. So if you'll just bear with me, is, uh, uh, bear with me, and uh, if I make a mistake, you know, just Forget about it. Don't don't worry too much about that, okay? Uh, because I make a lot of mistakes and so on. And I'm using, I'm using. Uh, I'll call out the colors here. There, there's a little cobalt blue there. I'm using cobalt blue to draw my uh, my uh, sketch on or sketch my um, That, that'll be, uh, we'll put that over there, and we'll put another one right in here. These are going to be, these are going to be our uh, hydrangeas. I like hydrangeas. I have some in my yard. Um, of course, they're dead now, you know. It's winter. They'd be dead in the summer if I were to take care of them, but I don't take care of them. So I'm not good with flowers. I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Uh, I know uh, I know a little bit about uh, I know a little bit about the flowers, but uh, I like the smell of them. I like the feel of them, and that's what I want to get across to you today. Is um, I really like the way I don't know anything about flowers, but I like the way they smell and I like the way they feel and I like the mood that they give me. They give me a great mood, a great feeling. And that's what we're after in a painting, isn't it? Not just the same old thing, we're after a feeling and a, and a mood. So I'm going to show you how I would put the mood together and, and that's what I want to do. I just want to 
take the white of this canvas out of here. Maybe I'll touch a little bit of orange in there and warm that background up just a little bit. And you'll see that, that these work very, very simply, very nice. And it'll, it just stay with me, hang with me, and you'll, you'll watch it. You'll see it come to fruition. Notice how a big brush will take care of a very large area, okay? And this is a wet canvas, the, the um, canvas that accepts both water, or water media and oil media. And they're great to work with, and I enjoy working on them. I wonder if, did Mary from Seattle, is she with us today? Hi, Mary. I hope she's with us. And that young lady from Chicago, thank you for the nice note. I uh, email, I appreciate it. I enjoy it very much, you people. You've been so nice to me, and you really, I really enjoy getting your, your, your emails and your correspondence. It makes me feel so good. And I appreciate it. I really do. I hope this helps you. And if there's anything that I can do that I haven't done or I'm not doing, by all means, say something, okay? Tell me in your email. Just say, listen, I want you to do this, or I'd like for you to do that. You know, that'd be nice. I'll do it. Sure, I will. That's if these gentlemen here at the studio will, will allow me to, but I'm sure they would. And I'm just using water. Water is, is all I'm using, and I know what you're saying. Why don't you just use water, or why don't you just use oil? Well, each medium has its own characteristics, and I enjoy going from one to the other because it just kind of it just kind of makes it feel just a little different, just a little different. And I like that. I like the feel of it. I like the, I like the difference in the mediums. This happens to be a beautiful texture, nice tex texture on the, on the uh, panel, on the on the substrate, and I work it right down. I can do anything with it. I can change it. I can cover it up. I can do anything with it, and yet it works exactly the same as oil and watercolor now that that kind of that's kind of a that's kind of a that's kind of a unique a unique thing to, to to have is these these different qualities but they do they have such different quality I'm going to put a little deoxine purple so I've got cobalt blue titanium white and I'm going to use, um, uh, and I've got uh, some, some cadmium orange in there just to warm it up. So I've got a little play here and there. And uh, I, have, I have fun with that. Don't you? I do. I have fun with that. Now, I know that this is going to be a lot different in a few minutes, but if you have any questions, just... Just let me know. And I haven't been too, I ha, I, I've kept this in a, in a um, vertical plane because I'm using a vertical subject and a vertical uh, substrate, vertical canvas. Uh, we wouldn't put this really on a, on a square canvas or on a rectangle. We put them on a vertical because we have a vertical subject. And it's great because all you do is you clean right up with the water. Do you have to work fast? No, I don't think so. And I use a blotter that's uh, made out of uh, tissue, and I folded some, some um, towel over it because it soaks in and it acts just like watercolor. And, and that's what I like about it. I just, I just like it. I love watercolor, so, you know. Why not? So what I'm going to do now is, is kind of build up, build up my, 
And I want to get this painting to start talking back. I want to get this to say, keep going, Chucky boy. You're doing all right. Everything's going to work out fine. So that's just what I'm doing. See, see that, that, that kind of makes it. I like that. I like that. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy. I'm happy. That's going to work out just fine. 